And we're back with another episode of Ask the Evans Cop. Once again, joined by Sergeant Damian Smith. Welcome back. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, we're going to stop talk now about something that uh, a lot of folks have heard a lot about, as we were just saying off camera. Um, but a reminder never hurts, and that is, um, you know, we have all been asked during the COVID nineteen uh, outbreak to practice social distancing, to not gather in large groups, to, you know, uh, make sure that we stay six feet apart um, whenever possible, and all of those that good advice. Um, and one of the, I think concerns people had early on when these uh, guidelines were coming out was that police were going to start arresting people for not practicing social distancing and you know checking where you were going and you know all these things and i think you know you guys obviously put out some information saying you were not doing that but i but i think it would be just good to have a reminder for people of kind of what you are and aren't doing um with, like if you saw a big group of people gathered at the beach or something you know how how do you normally handle something like that yeah, so first of all, what I'd like to say is, you know, we couldn't do it without our great citizens because the reality is, is most people um, like us, because at the end of the day, even your local police department, we're citizens as well, um, and we have lives as well, um, but they're following the guidance. Uh, you know, there was obviously, there's always a concern anytime law enforcement um, is involved in something like that. Some people, whether their background, depending on their, their life experiences, have differing opinions, or whatever they're seeing on the news with other countries um, and other rights that they, those countries may or may not afford to their citizens. Um, but the reality is that this is a public health emergency. This is, you know, although there's a law enforcement aspect to the governor's orders, um, this is a public health emergency. This is not rioting in the streets. Um, and we've merely just asked for the public to adhere to what the medical professionals um, are asking us to do with regards to social distancing um, and follow their guidelines, which are evolving. Uh, they are flexible as they learn more and more about this virus. Um, but again, we're not doing roadblocks. We're not questioning individuals, uh, stopping them. Where are you going? Who's in the car? Are these really your family members? Um, none of that. We still do respond to complaints of groups. Uh, the reality is we look at those each individual based upon the totality of the circumstances. Um, if we do get called to a group, a lot of what we do is education. Even in a normal non-COVID environment, a lot of times when officers are contacting people, it ends up being an educational scenario or situation where we educate the public, not necessarily enforce. So we do still respond to those. Um, and more often than not, I'm not aware of any actual uh, citations being handed out by the Edmonds Police Department. I, in fact, I don't, I don't, I'm not aware of a single one as of yet, because again, uh, generally, even if somebody's knowingly violating it, sometimes when they get contacted by us, they kind of, yeah, I got it, I'm sorry. We, we, we rolled the dice, we took a chance, you came, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and, and go home. Um, so again, you know, social distancing does not mean social isolation. So make sure you're reaching out with your friends, family, those that live alone or need assistance. Um, and there's a lot of different ways of taking care of one another, because again, it's not social isolation. Um, but again, we're not stopping people uh, randomly, not looking for a letter from your employer that proves you're an essential worker. Uh, you know, most people are doing the right thing and we take them at face value that they are. Uh, again, following the directions of the governor. Okay, great. And, uh, you know, another thing I think we'll make sure to share with people in case somebody isn't aware that there is a, if somebody's really concerned about a gathering that they, like, is repeatedly going on, they, there's always um, a form they can file with the governor's office as well. And right. Uh, you know, another option for people. Right. The attorney general's office specifically for this, uh, I know for businesses as well as a couple others, they do have online forms that you can you can fill out for the attorney general to to look out for potential violations right okay good we'll make sure we let people know about that all right well thank, thank you very much for that information and um we'll be back soon with another episode of ask the evans cop stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you soon